Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today, I'm gonna be doing a preparing in our homeschool for our next science unit. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with The Good and the Beautiful, and today I'm gonna be preparing our next science unit from the good and the beautiful. If you've been watching my channel for a long time and you saw the curriculum videos I put out like months and months ago, you'll notice that this science unit was actually not a part of my original plan in our homeschool. And that is because this was newly released. Um, this unit came out in the middle of our school year and when it arrived, I knew my kids were gonna be super excited to do it. And so today I'm gonna to show you guys how I prepare our science units. This will be our next science unit in our homeschool, and I'm really, really excited about it. So if you guys guessed the reptiles, amphibians, and fish unit study, then you were correct. This is a science unit study from the Good and the Beautiful for grades K through eight. And when this showed up, I knew my kids were going to want to add this into our uh, rotation for this school year. So this is how the unit comes packaged from the Good and the Beautiful, just in this plastic shrink wrap here. And then I did get the additional book pack. So we have Curious Reptiles and Amphibians, which is a very cute, colorful, um, book with interesting facts. My kids always love fact books. Then we have this one, the reptiles, amphibians, and fish questions and answer book. Um, this was written by the team at the good and the beautiful. And so, um, really cool, like questions. I was thinking about doing just a daily question as we go through the unit. Um, and then the last book we have here is a story of a rattlesnake. This will be like a quick science read aloud um, that will correlate with the unit. So I love having those books on hand. I have not been going to the library very much at all. And so it's nice to have new books to do our science unit. So the first thing that I'm going to do, well, the first thing I did was empty out geology from my science binder here. So I took geology out, so we're done with that. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the science unit. That's obviously step number one. I'm going to make piles. So I'm gonna have a pile for three hole punching, which will be my teaching, and then a pile for photocopies for the kids and then a pile for cutting out and assembling. So those are the three piles I will make and it will take me no time at all. It is exactly um, about 10 o'clock now and so I will tell you guys just how long it took me to do this to give you an idea of you know the time commitment involved but it really doesn't take much time at all. So again, I'm gonna make those three separate piles as step number one for assembling our next science unit.
Okay, so now I've taken my piles. This is the pile that I need to photocopy for each of my kids to have copies of. The rest of the unit I've gone ahead and placed um, inside and then anything that pertains to the unit I put in these little um, folders. I actually ran out of them because uh, every science unit has a different number of lessons in it. This one I think has like 15. Um, and so I didn't have enough folders. So what I'll do is once we do lesson one, I'll empty that out and then I'll move the folder back with the other ones that are just back here toward the back. So the units in here, the covers there, the things for the kids I need to photocopy is there. And then I put the table of contents on the back because my kids like to see what we're going to be learning about next. And so this is just an easy spot for them. So there's actually 13 lessons in this. And it covers quite a bit of information that I know is going to be really, really fun for them to learn about. So I am now going to cut out the vocabulary words. And I will just put those all together probably at the front of the unit. And then after that, my next step before I make photocopies and um, put them in my kids science folders, that will take me the longest amount of time, is I love that the Good and the Beautiful always has um, the supplies needed at the front of every unit. So I'm going to go through and just make sure that I have everything for all of the um, units. That way, if I don't, I'll make a list and I will get to the store before we start this. So it's really nice. That way you're prepared. You can just keep all the things you're going to need in a little bin or container and then you're not caught off guard. So um, really, really nice. And as I was putting this unit in, this is one of the newer units, like I said. And so I was noticing some of the really beautiful um, differences, things that were just catching my eye. So first of all, um, I love the color and the actual photography of what the lesson is going to be teaching on. I also really like the objective section here. I like to read that to my kids so that way I can tell them, you know, what we're going to be learning about that day. And then they always include a preparation so you know what to do. Um, the night before you're going to be teaching your unit. So I just really appreciate that. But this unit is full of amazing photography. So, so beautiful. Turtles, reptiles, um, identifying crocodiles. It's just going to be a really good one. I can already tell. I have a good feeling about it. So anytime I make these videos, I always get asked about my printer slash copier. This is the Epson EcoTank ET3760. I got it at Costco on sale. It is expensive, but a thousand percent worth it. I have never refilled these ink cartridges and I have been using this thing for over a year, printing out all of the seasonal educational bundles that I do that are hundreds of pages along with daily printing from my kids as well as photocopies and colors. So hands down, best purchase I've ever made for my homeschool. I only wish I would have done it sooner. So now that I'm up here, I've got my stack. It's in order of lessons, so this should be pretty easy. I'm gonna go through and make photocopies of everything I need to do, and then I will sit down on the floor and separate um, which kids they are for. Uh, these things you're seeing on the top are the lesson extensions for grades seven and eight. Even though my son is in sixth grade, I have him do these because he enjoys them. And so you'll see that I make two photocopies of this. Um, another thing I wanted to briefly mention is, is that my uh, son who is in eighth grade is also doing a different um, science curriculum just as a prerequisite for something he wanted to do in high school. Uh, but he did ask to do this unit with us so I am going to be making him copies as well um, so if you watch all of my videos I just wanted to clarify that so no one was confused so that is my last and final step is creating the handouts for or photocopying the handouts for all of my kids Now 
Now that the photocopies are made, the last thing I'm gonna do is put them into my kids' science folders. I know some people like to three-hole punch them, spiral them, you can really do whatever you like. I like to leave them loose, and then what I have them do um, in here is, this still has geology stuff in it, but once they're done, I have them move all of the completed things onto one side, so, um, They'll all start here, and then as we go through the unit, they'll move them over here, and that's just the way that we like to do it. So each kid has their own folder, and these are in order of the lessons that we are going to move in. So I'm just going to put them into their folders, and I have my unit all ready to go, all prepped, the game, the vocabulary words, everything's all set up and three-hole punched. I have all my books that we're going to be adding on to it. And of course, I will find some free documentaries and fun videos to watch. Um, also, The Good and the Beautiful does have videos that go with the lesson. So we'll be watching those every day. And I'm really excited to teach reptiles, amphibians, and fish. So that is going to be it for this prepare a science unit with me. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I was preparing for our next science unit in our homeschool. If you guys have done this unit, let me know if you had any really fun activity or additional ideas that you did with your kids that your kids loved leave those comments down below it's really nice and helpful for other people to come back and read them I will have a link to the good and the beautiful's website always down below for you guys if you want to go look at some of their science units they are always coming out with really good ones and a new one is coming and I'm super excited about it um, so stay tuned for that but I hope you guys enjoyed preparing with me I hope you're doing well and I will see you all in my next video really soon bye guys